Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I am so excited. I just picked up my new frames for my hay boxes. If you've seen my feeding video, you'll see how I use hay chicks netting in all my hay boxes. And I have these really cool frames that my dad makes me. This is a new style. We took, um, the first one he made me was my favorite and then he made me three more that just weren't as awesome. And so now um, he just made the rest of them for my pasture and they're super cool. Should be really, really easy. No tools required to like fix the nets or anything like that. So um, I've got five of them and I'll still need a couple more, but they were out of um, the turnbuckles that he needed to do them. So I've got enough for now and then I'll just add a couple more when we get them. So we're gonna be putting these together later on and I'll kind of show you how I do that. Um, and I've got a group lesson tonight. I'll be working my training horses, all kinds of fun things happening. Good. So this is Beck and Nellie. And Nellie used to be pretty difficult to bridle. And Beck has just, on her own, made it a point to start bridling this horse from the ground to get it so she's really good about keeping her head down when she bridles. The last horse that Beck leased was really difficult to bridle, so she's made it a point to every single time make sure that the horse is gonna be good at bridling. Nice job. Ponies and kitty. Okay, all right. Madeline's gonna show us what she's been. This is brand new. You've never done this before, have you? Uh-uh. First okay. time. Okay, she's gonna back him by a foot. That's awesome. Now bring him forward. Now she's gonna lead him by a foot. He's like, oh no. <laughs> Good. Good. I was getting the hang of it. Nice job. And Ava just almost fell off her pony over there. You're trying magical things? Okay, cool. You're lucky. He's so cute. And he's not being a stinker. 
<laughs> Beck is trying to, are you trying to rope the cat or the stool? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, the cat, the cat's like, I'm out of here just in case. So nice. <laughs> and you guys got an audience back there. Daisy and <laughs> these two over here, backwards and sideways. And what? I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Oh, of course. That's how that works. No. Um, Daisy's gonna kick her. <laughs> She's like backing up and threatening to kick Muffin. I would move. I would move because, there. Since you're sideways, especially, you know. A little stinker. Oh, we got, we got one horn. Cute little miss. after their lesson. Now it's Ace's turn. Seriously, why do horses have to poop in water buckets? I had a full water bucket in a stall, put a horse in there for, I don't know, half hour, and she pooped in it right away. One of the things that bears always had a problem with is pretty serious anxiety when it comes to being in a stall. He also is like this in a horse trailer. He used to be like this every time he was tied, but that is getting so, so much better. Um, so what I've decided to do with him is he's going to be spending the evenings in a stall. Him and um, him and I've got another horse that's going to stay in with him too. So they're going to stay in and I'm hoping that this will really help bear just this consistency of being in every night. Um, I'm not big on keeping my horses in stalls at night, but this is a situation where he needs to be able to get over this kind of stuff because if we want to take him to a show or an event he's got to be okay or gosh forbid if something should ever happen to him where he needs to be on stall rest I have to make sure that he is going to be safe and not hurt himself being stalled so I'm working really hard along with a lot of groundwork and other things to make sure that this pony can get over this problem so on the floor here I have a 10 by 10 piece of hay chicks do-it-yourself netting in the one and three quarter inch heavy duty and what I'm going to be doing is cutting this net into four equal pieces and then we're going to be stretching them over those frames so they come apart and we'll be putting those on there to put into my hay boxes. Okay so here I am 
with the one inch netting and I'm just weaving it all through. Um, this one is a lot more complicated than the one and three quarter inch. And the only reason I'm using this is because I had ordered this a long time ago by mistake. So I'm doing one of the nets with the one inch. Everything else is the one and three quarter. So, but we just open it up, slide it all on, and there we have it. So I'm almost to the end on this one. And I cannot wait to go put these out in the pasture. It's gonna be awesome. Tonight I need to do a shout out to Talia in Sydney, Australia. Talia, thank you so much for always watching. I really enjoy hearing all about you and your pony Lola and I wish you the best of luck. Well, I got all my nets in my hay boxes and they look really, really awesome and they're gonna save me so much on hay. The only little thing that I have that is not working is for some reason they're a little bit too big for the box. I think the turnbuckle that's on there, I just need to tighten it down more um, because they should be the same size as the other ones. But So that's the only thing that's not going on, but it, it's dark out, so there's not much that I can do to fix it right now. So, hey Miss Kitty. Everybody out. Get out. Get out. Cinnamon. All the girls. I have a creeper. Petra, you're supposed to be in the pasture, sweetheart. Petra was having an issue with being in a stall a few weeks back. And um, clearly now she's she has no problem with it whatsoever. So we got her over her spring herd bound issues and separation anxiety. And now she is just fine with being in the barn, being tied, whatever I need her to do. So it's really great how, how quickly that pays off just putting some solid time in and working on that. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed watching. And as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ding that little bell if you would like to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much. Have a great night.